Did you know that Jack and the Beanstalk is a very, very, very old story? It is so old that many, many people have rewritten it and made pictures to go with their words. This one was done by John Patience, but it's being retold by me, Beach Baby Bob. There once was a boy called Jack who lived with his mother in a tumbled-down little cottage. They were very poor. In fact, the only thing they had in the world was a cow, which gave them milk. The day came when the cow's milk ran dry and Jack's mother decided that the best thing to do was to sell the cow. So Jack set out to market. Jack wasn't gone long when he met an odd man along the roadway who wanted to buy the cow. The man told Jack that he would give him magic beans that would make him very rich. So Jack said okay and he traded the cow for the magic beans. When Jack got home, he showed his mother the magic beans. She was furious. Where's the money? Beans? And she threw them out the window and sent Jack to bed without his supper. When Jack woke up the next morning, there was a giant beanstalk growing outside his window. Without telling his mother, he decided to climb to the top of the beanstalk and find his fortune. At last, Jack reached the other side of the clouds and he saw a long road. He walked along it until he came to a huge castle. Jack walked up and knocked on the door. It was opened by an enormous woman. Be off with you, she said. My husband is a giant and he will gobble you up if he catches you here. Jack told the woman that he was very hungry. So she took him into the kitchen and made him some cheese and bread. Jack had just finished eating when he heard the sound of footsteps coming. It sounded like thunder. It must be a giant. The fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'm going to grind his bones to make my bread. While Jack was hiding in the oven, the giant's wife calmed her husband down. She told him that it must be the porridge he was smelling. So he sat down at the table and ate a big bowl of porridge, counted his bag of gold, and then fell asleep. This was Jack's chance. He snatched the bag of gold and made off with it. While the giant slept, Jack also took his goose that laid the golden eggs and his harp that his wife plucked every night that put him to sleep. Suddenly, the giant woke. He woke with a start. He could hear his harp crying out, Master, master, the boy has got me. Save me, save me. The giant chased Jack down the beanstalk, but Jack, Jack was just too fast. He made it to the bottom. Mom, mom, give me an axe, quick. Jack's mother was terrified. Chop, Jack, chop. It took Jack three strokes with the giant axe to make the beanstalk come tumbling down. With a terrible roar, the giant came tumbling down. The ground shook and the giant fell into a deep hole. The beanstalk never grew again. But it didn't matter because the harp sang beautifully and the hen continued to lay the golden eggs. So Jack and his mother were never... All right, you meathead. Off to bed without dinner. And you're lucky we don't clobber you.